second midfielder is very close to the first pressing, which is a player that possibly is, I would say is the best player of Barcelona recovering ball, so by playing as attacking midfielder. The cracking game awaiting us at the Estadio de la Ceramica is nearly always high scoring when these two meet. It's Villarreal against Barcelona, the reigning champion, Cuenca, 23. Uh, Pedri is also injured, so getting a bit stretched for resources there. And yeah, great team, a team that we will see today that it will face Barcelona. It will test Barcelona. They're comfortable with the ball and they have fantastic players. So the two teams and clips it through. It's a nice looking ball as well and it's a, a chance for Gundogan who maybe had more time than he realized and now clips the ball to the far side find moreno who wants to work it onto his left foot and him gives it to Bayern. It gets it back sort of saved by tesh degen who then clears from the floor Barca's defense is just very very wide open at the moment confident that the flag would go up kunde in particular basically stopped running as the through ball came here it is and no, it's nothing is gold. It's here, Marcos Alonso. Back to that stat because here's a chance for Baena. It was again very easy for Villarreal to break down the left. Pedraza, all sorts of space. Found Baena on the flank. Combining with Capue, he'll go for the shot to Lewandowski. Appeals for offside. But to come to the fore and he does with the great cross and Gavi is there at the far post you wouldn't pick Gavi out as the man to produce the towering header at the far post back across goal but that's exactly what he did into the corner and it's two teenagers ball from Lewandowski got it caught under his feet Lewandowski to Lewandowski and it falls for De Jong 2-0 surely it is Frankie De Jong could not believe his luck when the ball just fell into his path. He had the goal to aim at. He picked the bottom left corner. His aim was true. And Barcelona, with two goals in three minutes, have doubled their lead. What a sensation. Pedraza, maybe offside, is with Alonso. Gets in a very. Don't make you do the best. Great ball for Pedraza, who forces another save from. Mark Andre Testeg and what a run though finds Lamine. Across this Barca needed as you identified Chappie. Someone Lewandowski moving ahead of him. And the shot deflects behind for a corner. So more goal threat. Player sees the things on video is easier to understand. So I'm sure that Chavi is working a lot with Lamine in terms of is cleared. Romeo tries to feed it into Lewandowski who nearly is able to get there. He and the corner out swinging delivery and they get one back and it is the head of Juan Foyth for Villarreal and you can't say they don't deserve it they have created chance after chance and now they have taken one Kike Setien's team it's got the fans back in it. it is a full house as we said leaves it for Capue he wants to shift it on for Gerard Moreno blocked by Frankie de Jong and Lamy finds Capue who goes down, free kick is given in a very good position for... Or will he go for placement? Goes for power, and Tesh Degen was able to see through that crowd of players and... More or less dealt with, <laughs> with uh, the attacking... Albiol and Pau Torres. 1-2 with Lewandowski, four in the middle to Frankie de Jong, back to the midfielder. It's side is it was uh, almost unbearable last weekend. Yeah. Injecting some pace and continues his run. Sergio Roberto with the cross, looking for Lewandowski, it's going to be kept in. Lovely pass, Pedraza across goal and Soloth steers it in. Wonderful equaliser from Villarreal. They opened up the Barcelona defence beautifully. Let's see the position, the position of Pedraza, but that was a great pass. Well, they were patient, Villarreal, they had to wait to pick their way. Foyth going outside him. His Foyth, it opens up for Foyth. Tries to find Gerard Moreno, doesn't quite get the pass away. Pass decisions, let's see, Oriol has got a fantastic strike from distance. Gabby by by Jorgensen, one in the club's exactly. history. Bambasra again with Lamine running through. And having it very solidly blocked in the end by Cuenca, who really put his body on the line there. And hurt himself in the process. Yeah, Cuenca, another player that he comes from the Real players. Well, that's a shame. It's the halftime whistle. We've been enjoying this one. A very eventful opening period at the. Eric, um, he also replaced Christensen in the past game when Barcelona beat Cadiz 2 0. Uh, off with the good flick on. 
Sergio Roberto. The cross is not a bad one, doesn't quite reach Lewandowski as Cuenca gets the header away. And so Capoue gets it only as far as Romeo and his very powerful shot calls a bad game. This one is matching it, might even heavy. Foyth into the area. Good cover by Eric Garcia, and it had to be because there were three. Villarreal three. He finds Baena. What a finish. Villarreal with their first attack of the second half into the lead. Alex Baena has been a key player throughout the game. He was perfectly released by Pedraza, which has also been something we've seen time and time again. Barca still haven't learned to do it. It's Alonso in the middle of the area. Lamine off the post. So close to a sensational equaliser from this. And Lamine wide. His cross should be the keepers. It is taken by Philip Jorgensen. He's another one who's uh, starting now this season. Moments, some good moments, and also some moments that they lost on game. Romeo, Lewandowski turns, shoots, saved by Jorgensen. And Foyth can for Villarreal, but he needs to do something. Frankie de Jong is given. It's good to win. Excessive and gave the ball away. He's lucky that his team have quickly won it back. Driving through, Marcus Alonso just wide via the hands of Jorgensen, who didn't have much control. Trying to force his way through Ferran with the shot blocked. The second shot he follows up and he equalizes. He's only been on the field for a couple of minutes, and Ferran Torres continues his good start to the season with another goal. He got one last week against Cadiz, he's off the bench to score again and Barcelona are back on level terms Barca looking to go ahead and Lamine off the post and Lewandowski follows it up and just as they did in the first half Barca have scored two goals in quick succession to go ahead and finally Robert Lewandowski does get his first goal of the season but there's a huge debt of gratitude